half hour, many businesses in Pennsylvania are back up and running after temporary COVID restrictions were lifted yesterday morning. Eyewitness News reporter Howard Monroe is live in Havertown, where restaurants are once again welcoming customers to dine inside. Howard, good morning. Good morning to you, Janelle. In Philadelphia, you know, restaurants have to wait until the end of next week on January 15th to allow indoor dining. However, here in the suburbs, they are taking it all in. How can I help you? Why wouldn't you support people that you know and you care about? Support from customers to the restaurants they love. I wanted to be the first one here, so I think I got in. The community has been very excited and have waited a long time. Brick and Brew in Havertown celebrated the relaunch of indoor dining in Pennsylvania with a brand new location. They say the design is reminiscent of the Roaring Twenties. The last time the world was emerging from a global pandemic. The timing worked out perfectly. Uh, I mean, during a crazy time where a lot of restaurants, unfortunately, have had to shut their doors permanently, we really have persevered. Here, just like every restaurant in the state, barriers are in place and tables are spaced apart. The reopenings come as case counts are still thousands above where they were in the spring. Governor Tom Wolf warned we are still in the thick of it. This does not mean that we're out of the woods, not by any means. We still have significant mitigation efforts in place. Now, now indoor dining is limited to 50% capacity. Restaurants they have to go they have to go under a self-certification process on safety protocols to get up to that capacity limit. Live in Havertown, Howard Monroe, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Thanks so much, Howard.